Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes, I ruined my hair. I, uh, I have to ask you for some prayer requests, please. I wasn't going to ask just for myself, but really, I should. That's what we're supposed to do is come to one another. But, um, yeah, I've got worsening what they call post-exertional malaise. I took a shower, washed my hair, and my dog. And with all I've been doing lately, it just added to it. And when you overdo it, your body crashes. And I thought the crash was over. And I went back to normal activity yesterday. And today all I could do is go back to bed at 8 o'clock. And I slept. Anyway, the long story short, I, I I did spiritual warfare the first day it happened after I showered, and that's why my hair was tied up for that video I put up on BitChute. Y'all might want to check that out, BitChute.com, Jeannie Loves Jesus. I didn't get around to putting a video up on YouTube for it. It's just another terrible side effect from you know what. Anyway, I overdried my hair. I didn't. I didn't. I ruined it. But I. It'll be all right. It, I can fix it when I feel better. So I. I need prayer. So then I find out our sister Crystal is doing similar. She has an illness. She's never really talked about it. Things, all kind of things, wrong. She can't even eat food. I know that. That's one of her things. She has to drink everything. And anyway, she said she's so tired and weak. Worse than ever. So either this is spiritual attack, which I'm thinking it is. So prayer warriors, help me rebuke demons, cast out spells. You know where I live. I'm one of two who didn't take the you know what, and they said they won't open this place up till everybody took it. So I've been praying against any retaliation, and um, I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. It could be from what I put up on BitChute. I don't know, or even on here. Okay, so pray for me, pray for Crystal and Morella, our sister Morella down in Ecuador has the four children she keeps two and her ex keeps two. All right, she's had fever and what she say, let me read this. She says, hi beloved sister, how are you? I have been with fever and coughing. For the last 10 days. Not good. Still now. And read. They plan to vaccinate. 9 million people. During the next 3 months. In Ecuador. So I hope. Before maximum. The fall feasts. Rapture occurs. What do you think? Keep us in your prayers. Well, I'm thinking it's before that. I certainly do hope so. She just has to refuse. That's all we can do. And, you know, Americans may find, I don't know about the other countries, how strict they're going to be. I don't know how strict they're going to be here. After the first rapture, the first fruits, you know, when we go outside of time, I don't know how they're going to be with the Christians and the people who refuse. I got an email up here. I just read, I was just reading titles and it said, uh, Something about white conservatives, um, 
Oh, let me find it here. Okay, it's the show is called Five in Ten. Um, white, and the New York Times suggests white evangelicals could prolong the pandemic. Okay, so they're gonna. I know they're. I know this is gonna happen. They're gonna blame those of us who refuse it for getting and spreading the COVID when that stupid thing they injected in people didn't even have COVID in it to make them not get it when they're exposed. All it's going to, I can't say no more. Never mind. I don't want my channel deleted. Okay, see, I can't talk about that on here. I'm just mainly here to ask for prayer for the three of us and for Team Jesus because Kathy and another one, Jennifer, they're just so tired and weary. They, Kathy does deliverance in the afternoon. She's got to keep up with news, prophecies that are coming out. That's their calling. And they make two or three, maybe four videos. They start on that after any deliverance they do. Some days they don't have to do any. And they hardly ever take a day off because they're doing the Lord's work. That's why I tell you, if you need heart healing and deliverance, you should email her. I know she's busy already, but she will do it. And it's grafted in teamjesus222 at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description box. Okay, I have to take out my dog now, so, yeah, and take pills. Okay, so I have to put everything on a timer already. Okay. Yeah, all of what I have is due to hep BV. I think I told you that. 31 years ago, 1990. April 4th. 1990, hey, I hit my anniversary of being injected, uh, sick from injected, yeah, I started, started them in 89, anyway, I don't want to talk about that, just keep us in your prayers, and, uh, really, seriously, we're talking, uh, Morella, 10 days, she doesn't have any insurance, and she sure doesn't want to go to a doctor. You have a cough and a fever for 10 days. They might test her. It might come up positive. They'll, I mean, I know a lot of people that just get medicine and they stay home. But I don't know how they do it down there. And we all just need more strength. I know there's a lot of you that are probably going through the same thing. So you pray for us. I'll pray for you. You can put your name in the description, uh, comment. Say, yeah, me too. Please pray for me. And please, y'all. Please read the comments and note anybody else that needs prayer, okay? Okay, I don't know if I'll get another video up today. Maybe tomorrow, okay? I'll see. It's up to the Lord. I want to, I'm on, so behind in my email. Please, y'all don't send me anything, anything for at least two days, please. Unless it's so off the top urgent. You put urgent, urgent. 
and then whatever. I need to know to not just delete it. All right? And I mean something really off the top. So we need to know. All right? Use your discernment. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us. Me and all of you who watch this video. Don't care who you are or what you believe. As long as, well, I'm going to leave it at that. And I plead the blood of Jesus over our devices and our internet connections. And I guess that's it. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now, y'all. I love you so much. And I hope the next time I talk to you, it'll be up there. With Jesus. Oh gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I love you all. God bless each and every one of you with strength and energy. For whatever it is you need. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.